welcome back to another daily vlog thank you thank you for tuning back in and seeing where my head's at right now today is the 5th of october last time i recorded was the 1st of october and um i meant to do a september october september october yeah so september recap of uh september month recap because uh, one thing i like to do is do a recap of just at the end of the month how i did with my goals i, I set my goals in the beginning of the month and um yeah so i like to see at the end of the month how i did see where what stuff i could work on where i can improve what things um, are working what things aren't working so i mean i guess i could do that here for the vlog i could speak it out maybe help me think things out um so where am i at right now with personal training with personal training um you know i've been trying to figure out the best route to take um where to start because starting an online fitness business um i think is a little different than the traditional you know coaching people at the gym getting the experience at the gym or um or uh what is the word called or just marrying a, another personal trainer um shadowing them and seeing how they do it at the gym i'm um, interning you know interning for personal trainers that's the word um it's a little different i think i'm in a little different circumstances uh, because I can't exactly train people in person and get that experience that way. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, how it's going to work out. Uh, and I spent a lot of the end of September trying to figure that out. And from what I got is that, I, you know, I have to gather a list of friends, a list of relationships that I've made and coach those people because I already had those relationships with people and I come out with, you know, free coaching with I come out with um, just like telling them exactly where I'm at and letting them know like, hey, this is where I'm at and I want to start coaching people. I want to start helping people out and getting experience and um, I genuinely, genuinely want to help people with their health and fitness you know that's something that i enjoy passionately i i if i could do one thing every day for the rest of my life it would just be to work you know on my health and fitness and inspire other people to do the same so um, i decided that a long time ago and i just think what's stopping me right now is that it's unknown territory for sure this this territory of coaching other people has been something that i've kind of avoided for a long long time why have i avoided it because it's unknown territory i'm not sure how it's gonna go what i'm used to what i'm comfortable to uh, what i'm comfortable with is is learning in the background it's reading it's watching the videos and um but getting in there getting in the action is something I guess I need to see other people do first is something that I'm so used to seeing other people do first um, with track before I like to watch how other people are doing it I like to observe how other people are doing it and then practice in the background practice during practices and master it then before I even get out onto the race before I even get out to show the crowd you know how good I am or whatever um, so I guess that's what I have to do in October is start the coaching people. Um, I guess, but I'm at the same time, I'm trying to build this, this personal brand of, of myself on social media. And I'm also getting distracted with that. I feel like I'm getting super involved in it to the point where it's taking up a lot of my time, trying to figure out content, trying to figure out helpful content and build helpful content I know it doesn't have to be perfect but just the time it takes to create something that is actually helpful shareable 
It's something that I know, I genuinely know of. Um, yeah, it's just taking up a lot of my time. But, yeah, that's where my head is at right now. It's just... So used to following other people and knowing the way to go, knowing exactly how to do things by the form, by the perfect form of it, and but this, it's not exactly laid out for you perfectly. Going to school, there's a path that um, is easily laid out for you, that's easily clear. You can see exactly what the next step is, you can see what the next step is after that, and the next step after that but with this online personal training thing and not being a part of an actual i don't know if there's an actual online personal trainer school program academy whatever you want to call it if there is that i still haven't found that um i'm kind of taking in a lot of just advice from a lot of people like grant cardone Right now, I'm in part of this 10x challenge. I'm taking into consideration my consulting course that I took, that I bought two years ago from Sam Ovens. Um, and I'm taking into account just IG tips from people online. So I don't know. I think I'm, maybe I'm trying to do too much at once, but we'll see how it goes. This uh, vlog is getting a little too long here. Six. Yeah, so see how this goes um thank you for watching up to this point if you have thank you for following me up to this point and for supporting my journey um i'm trying my best to figure out the best way to bring the best most useful most helpful authentic content and advice whatever i can give to people who need or people who are searching for somebody they could relate to going through common struggles that we all go through but nobody ever talks about it really um i think the common struggle here is not having this set path in life and um the difficulty and because it's not so easy after school the path you know it, it could be easy if, if you if you want to just get a, a job and and go that route and you know move up the ladder like that but that's some, definitely something that I decided that I didn't want to do so you know I wanted to create my own business and be my own boss be a leader etc so we'll see how this goes that's where I'm at right now it's worth it have a great have a great have a great day